Amen. Jesus, thank you, Father. Oh, this is the third time I've tried this video. In the name of Jesus, Father, I ask you to uh, come against the devil with the demons and everybody else in the airways trying to keep this video from being going, from going forth, Father. Amen? Amen. That will be done. That kingdom come. I wanted to share a little video that's out there that I thought was pretty good, except for you need to catch the little details of which he's unfortunately not aware of. The name of the video is uh, the timing of the rapture. It's about a six or seven minute video. It's by Thy Kingdom Come 927. So, amen Jesus, watch very closely what's being said. And you're going to see that other than for their idea of the rapture, which is, I don't believe, is true of the church, and I've explained this now for about three different videos already. <laughs> I'll do it one more time. The Father places that us upon an immovable rock. You have to ask yourself, well, Father, I'm going to ask the Father, Father, why would you put us on an immovable rock if you're just going to rapture us away anyway? What's the sense? And while you're asking him that, say, Father, you've told us that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Well, Father, if we're raptured to the kingdom of heaven during the tribulation and the time of the devil being down here in his wrath, okay, the gates of hell have been opened, the pits have been opened, all right, why would you tell us that the gates of hell shall not prevail if the gates of hell wouldn't make an attempt? They can't make an attempt if we're not here. So I ask him, well, why would you say that? Well, I'll tell you why he says it. Because the picture of the barn is just like the picture of the ark. When he tells us about the flood that's coming, okay, tries and testing, judgment against the households of faith, okay, <laughs> amen, Jesus, okay, he says, those houses that are not built upon the rock, okay, are not going to stand. Now, what rock is it? Where does Jesus build his church but upon the revealed word of the Father? That is the bedrock of the foundation of the church Jesus built. Amen? So I want you to watch that video, but pick up on these couple little things. First of all, he mentions that the bride and groom are taken into the Father's chambers. Okay? But the virgins are left standing outside. That can't be true, amen, Jesus. Because the word tells us the wheat are gathered together and placed in his barn. They are the attendants to the wedding. And then again he tells us that he will set a table, a feast, in the midst of our enemies. So they're going to be all around us. It's going to be during that seven year period of tribulation, amen, Jesus. Before the wrath and judgment of God comes. Amen, Jesus. So just watch it, listen to it very carefully, and you'll see that those differences of, uh, exist in that. And uh, so, without uh, going beyond five or six minutes, because that's when it when seems to want to go out on me, just wanted to give you a heads up, listen to it. It's very close to the truth. There's no question about that. It's just that, logistically speaking, <laughs> I don't believe it's in the kingdom. Amen. Uh, we're already citizens in the kingdom of heaven. All that needs to take place for us is for us to be gathered together in his, to his barn, the ark, placed upon the foundation, the immovable rock, Jesus' church, okay? And then the floods come, just like Noah and the ark, but we're protected. That's the hidden place. Amen? I love you guys. The Lord be with you and blessing Yeshua's name. Amen.